Hi peeps, welcome back to my little green corner. This is Mental Health Naps and my name is Kaisa and this is where we talk about mental health through smiles, not tears. We do this by focusing in on one word and its definition to kind of guide us through an aspect or topic about mental health. And today's word is agnostancy. And the official definition for agnostancy is forgiveness, guilt. It is very familiar. I don't want to say friend, presence perhaps. I think that's what we'll say. It's a very familiar presence. I feel like when it comes to mental health, it's very, very easy to let yourself feel weighed down by it. You feel like you're chained to guilt for any small little thing. And I swear it just gets worse the older you get. Probably because you just have more experiences that just pile up on top of each other. Am I right? You can feel guilty about almost anything. Maybe everything. Maybe you feel guilty for even breathing. And that is where the problem lies. When I was very, very ill and oftentimes when I'm really struggling with a hard day with my depression I feel guilty for a lot of things being someone who struggles with body image a lot of times I feel guilty about what I eat beat myself up at the end of the day saying oh my gosh this is why you're gonna weigh 200 ton when you wake up in the morning because you had one little square of your favorite kind of chocolate or you had one Dorito chip you can feel guilty for what maybe you did say in a conversation or better yet Yet. maybe you feel guilty for what you didn't say. How many of you have practiced an argument in the shower or in the mirror with things that you wish you said or things you want to say <laughs> but probably will never say? There's a certain amount of guilt that follows you. There can be guilt for how you responded in a particular situation. There can be guilt from, you know, making one particular choice, maybe to go out instead of staying in or vice versa. There can be guilt for how you treated certain people in your life or how you responded to how you were treated in your life. Life. There's all kinds of different reasons that we feel guilt. I don't know about you, but when depression grabs hold of me, it kind of takes all my guilt and like makes it fester and explodes it into this big mass that I can't even see around, walk around, get past. And I just feel very embarrassed and very ashamed. Sometimes I get very angry at myself because of all of this guilt that I just happen to be carrying around. I don't know if there's any good way to like solve the problem of feeling guilt but I think there are ways to keeping the guilt in its particular spot and keeping the guilt in its particular place if that makes sense. I can't say that I live my life completely guilt-free because I'm not perfect. I recognize that I'm human and I've made mistakes. Do I have a little bit of a temper? The answer is yes. So do I have an unbalanced response to some things sometimes? Yes, I do. But I think one of the biggest things to remember is that as someone who does make mistakes, who is human, I'm allowed to give the same courtesy that others ask of me when they do something to me for forgiveness. I can do the exact same thing. This life is too short to live it in just one particular way and in one particular attitude. Living my whole life with guilt does not sound like a good time, nor does it sound mentally healthy, and it's not. Why why would I want to give fodder to my depression? I don't, especially if I'm trying my best to control my depression so I can live a happy and a normal-ish life, whatever the heck normal means. Oftentimes, when people ask us for forgiveness, they say, I'm sorry. When was the last time you said, I'm sorry to yourself? I'm sorry that I thought that about you, speaking from the third person. I'm sorry that I expected more of you because hindsight is most definitely more effective than present sight, which is tends to be a little bit more narrow-minded. I'm sorry for picking on you when I know that you're doing your best to take care of yourself, to stay healthy. I'm sorry for not loving you like I love other people in your life, our life, my life. I'm getting very confused talking about myself in the third person. I'm talking to me. It's okay to make mistakes. If we didn't make mistakes, if we didn't live through experiences, how would we get better? How would we learn anything? Learning to forgive yourself is very, very difficult and I honestly think that it takes a lifetime to master. But what's most important is that we never give up. If you work on spending time being kinder to yourself, speaking more lovingly to yourself, kind of dissect why you did a certain thing the way that you did. For example, I feel guilty that I ate chocolate this morning with breakfast. It's not gonna help my waistline. Oh my gosh, I'm huge. Hold on a second. It was a little piece. I have made sure that I can make an allowance for a little bit of chocolate because it makes me happy. And if I have a little piece, 
that's gonna stop me from binging later on, which probably actually really would hurt me and make me feel awful. Wouldn't you rather live your life just a little bit happier under the strict mandated rules that you give yourself that it's just making you miserable? I mean, it's like being a dictator to yourself and that's not good either. Life is all about balance and life is all about giving yourself room to grow, to make mistakes and to realize, hey, I don't have to be this certain way even though I struggle with XYZ. I don't have to be sad and negative and guilt ridden all the time because I have depression. I can be joyous. I can learn certain tools. I can learn to love myself. I can learn to become best friends of myself even though I have depression. That makes the depression a little bit more easier to deal with on the day-to-day -day basis. And that is why this word is so important. That is why forgiving yourself is so important. Give yourself permission to say, I forgive you. I forgive me and let it go. There's always a new day tomorrow. Tomorrow is always a do-over to do better. Life is not perfect. If we get hung up on the perfect, we're not going to move forward like at all. And it's also important to remember that you're human. Things are going to happen. Things are going to happen out of your control as it might hurt some people to hear that. And you are allowed to have reactions to it. Granted, some reactions might be better, a better choice than others. I know this, but my temper has a personality all on its own. But it's something that I recognize about myself. And it's something that I'm worrying, willing to work on so that I can minimize any guilt in the future but it's a process and that's what you should do too so be a little bit kinder to yourself say i forgive you things happen we change throughout life we learn we grow we do better and that's really all i have to say about this word today love yourself and show yourself that you love yourself by forgiving yourself anyway that's really all i have to say about this word today it sounded it sounds like a, a can like a fa fancy candle i swear in i can't even remember but i was just keep wanting to say sensi the whole time i hope you have a wonderful day and i hope you show yourself a little bit of care and a little bit of love today. Until the next one, have a nice nap.